We are in Taliganda today. We're putting up nest boxes for greater gliders. Uh, it's been a long time coming. The purpose of installing these nest boxes into these parts of the forest is to help with bushfire regeneration. So a lot of these forests were burnt in the 2019-2020 fires and that's impacted greater gliders. More than 30% of their habitat was burnt right up the eastern seaboard. So we're trying to build resilience into these landscapes, help them move back into burnt areas. It's an important stopgap for a species that's already on decline. Greater gliders need hollows to nest in, and they prefer hollows from really old trees, so trees that can take 80 to 100 years to form those hollows. Unfortunately, we're losing a lot of those trees in the landscape, both through logging as well as through things like fire. But the more we learn about greater gliders, the more we're starting to understand that they're actually quite sensitive, particularly to hot temperatures. And one of the things we think might be contributing to their decline is extreme heat waves. So anything we can do to help them conserve their energy so they're not having to use it to stay cool or to stay warm is likely to help them persist in that landscape. We were inspired to change these nest boxes and introduce different elements to them including more insulation into the nest boxes to try to keep the greater gliders cooler in the heat of the day. One of the most important parts from after the fires we saw a lot of natural hollows burnt out and there's a lot of concern that these nest boxes might burn in fire and we have made them sort of fire resistant if we used the fire resistant products on these. So this is the next generation of nest boxes we've been uh, working on and building. We start with the 18mm marine ply. They get three coats of fireproof sealer and then an undercoat and then this reflective paint that actually um, reflects the radiant heat from the sun. We've got insulation around the three sides. We've got an air gap in here and um, that's designed so the box doesn't get really hot inside and then during extreme weather events over summer the species that are using them basically don't get cooked. We've got a few ideas up our sleeves that we're going to work on soon um, and see if we can improve this box even further. So I've affectionately been calling these nest boxes Goldilocks boxes and that's basically because what we wanted to achieve with these nest boxes was something that's going to keep them not too hot not too cold, but just that perfect temperature where they can become more resilient in these climate change scenarios. Jenna, what about that tree? We've just uh, trudged up a hill with the nest boxes on our backs and we're in kind of burnt forest and trying to find some good trees to put these nest boxes up. We're looking for a tree that's pretty healthy, not too burnt, something that's going to be safe for climbers to go up and put the boxes on. That'll stay up there 10 years, I reckon. This project has 70 sites in total. There's 40 sites in East Gippsland, there's 30 sites in Talaganda National Park and State Forest. Conserving greater gliders is really critical. It's super important for all forests because they are an indicator species. So if we have greater gliders in forests, it often means that it's old, healthy, really beautiful forest. It's been remarkable working on this collaborative project and it's been great to design these innovative nest boxes. And I think that working together to do this kind of work is gonna be the solution for a lot of threatened species. It's cool that we can do this, but I really wish we didn't have to. Habitat destruction is going to be the key threat for greater gliders going into the future. So I wish we didn't have to design these nest boxes. I wish we didn't have to put them out here. It's cool that we can do it but I would love to be living in a future where we don't have to.